Hello everyone, welcome to Speedway Motors Tech Talk. My name is Joe, and we're here today with Lake Speed Jr. from Total Seal Piston Rings, and we're gonna answer the age-old question about the hone and re-ring on your engine. <laughs> when is that okay, and when do you just have to give up and take it to a machine shop? Well, Joe, it really comes down to what's your intended application? What are you trying to accomplish? If you're trying to win a ton of 500, you probably need to be putting it in a, like a Rottler or some kind mm -hmm. of you know, modern CNC hone to make sure the surface finish, the board geometry, cross hatch angle, all those details of a cylinder bore surface are correct. If you have a late model engine and you're just re-ringing it because it's a you know, 400 horsepower toy, you know, this, you know, the ball hone, can resurface the okay. cylinder. It's not stock removal. If you actually have a worn step in there, that's where you're gonna need to have a actual abrasive hone head that can actually remove stock and create, you know, round, straight cylinder. The difference is this on the end of the drill isn't gonna get you anywhere near the straightness or the roundness or the consistency of cross hatch angle as say a modern CNC home. Mm -hmm. So let's say that you have a 400 horse street engine mm -hmm. and you are pulling it apart to determine if you can just do the hone and re-ring. What are some things to look for to, to kind of determine whether or not that's acceptable? Well, if you can feel a step at the top of the cylinder, yeah, this is not your option. <laughs> You're gonna have to go beyond. Uh, other thing you wanna look at is the cross hatch. Like I said, you know, a ball hone can restore some roughness. It can kind of, but it can't impart the correct board geometry and the depth of the surface finish. You can kind of restore and clean up a little bit. And, and that's actually probably a, a good point now to kind of bring up that one of the other things you gotta keep in mind here is that the type of ring you're using, what you're choosing as a ring to re-ring makes a giant difference here. So old school ductile model, you know, iron type rings, they're porous, they hold their own oil, they're super forgiving on what you do in terms of how you hone it. So an abrasive like this, you know, a single hone head is gonna give you a single grit finish. So in your driveway doing it, you're not gonna have a great control on the, what that cross hatch angle mm -hmm. is, but you're gonna be able to create a single grit finish and that's gonna work fine for a ductile molly, you know, type of ring. Same thing with a ball hone. If the surface finish is, hey, you can still see cross hatch, there's not a big ridge in there. Okay, you can clean it up with a ball hone, same way. It's gonna just kind of clean it up a little bit, but it's not gonna create the type of finish that has the valleys and that plateau that are required for a modern steel ring. See, what we're looking at right here are actually cylinder bore sections. So if you can imagine taking a one millimeter by one millimeter square sample of a cylinder bore and then blowing it up to four inches by four inches, that's what we're seeing right here. And so what is each of these then? So this is your old school single grit hone. Kind of thing that you might get from one of these. Yeah, a okay. 400 grit <laughs> abrasive on this will yield that. Okay. Th doing it the normal way. Mm -hmm. All right. This is taking, we'll call it a little bit worn cylinder where you can still see the cross hatch, but then hitting it with like a 400 grit ball mm -hmm. hone is gonna give you this kind of finish. Cause there's still some valley left over in there, but you've roughened that surface up a mm -hmm. little bit. This is a modern plateau hone where say in a Rottler where you have a 170 grit diamond and you're taking that basically all the way to size and then hitting it with a 600 grit CBN for say like 12 strokes and they call their plateau mode. Where now I have this nice load carrying area, but I still have these deeper valleys that hold the oil, mm -hmm. which for these modern steel rings, that's the key. Because the steel ring doesn't have porosity. It's PVD coated, stronger material, longer lasting, but there's no oil retention in the ring anymore. Old school rings held their own oil, very forgiving for surface finish, 
the modern rings, they don't hold the oil, the cylinder bore has to do it. So the choice is, what are you trying to do in back to that application? If you're going with a modern steel ring, because you're gonna do nitrous or boost or something like that, where you need that stronger ring material, that's where I would go away from these, go more towards having a machine shop get you the proper plateau finish so you get the right finish for the ring. Again, old school duck the molly, you can do this in your driveway and be fine. All right, so what I'm understanding is that for your regular street driven 400 horse engine, these are okay options as long as there's nothing scary in the bore when you open it up. Absolutely, if it's got cross hatch, you can use this to kind of freshen it back up. If there's a step, you need to hone it with a hone. But something more modern, more horsepower, especially if you're using a steel ring, probably better go to the machine shop. Absolutely. Well, there you have it. Thank you, Lake. Thanks to everybody for watching.